Now we are going to see the grammar tag. So in VXML uh, syntax, the grammar element, I'm sorry, yeah, grammar element is used to define the grammar or language model for recognizing spoken input from the user. So whatever we speak, that uh, <coughs> that is uh, it will recognize the grammar. Okay, the grammar element can contain one or more rule elements which define the words or phrases that the system will recognize. If you see the syntax is grammar tag, root and here we need to give a rule ID and what is the version of that particular grammar and mode or XML language we have to give. Here one or more rules can be you can write uh, so grammar tag we are closing. So each and every element uh, attribute means he here root uh, element specifies the id of the root uh, root uh, rule which is the rule that the system will use to begin recognition and the version specifies the current vxml specification that the grammar conforms to uh, present uh, grammar version is i mean sorry vxml version is 2.1 that we have to give it here and mode which mode whether it specifies input mode for the grammar that can be voice for the spoken input or DTM for the touchstone input and XML language specifies the sorry um, grammar using ISO this is the standards okay so now see this is the rule tag inside the grammar element one or more rules element uh, rule elements can be included to define the language model here is the syntax rule and then we have to give id and the scope see here uh, spe id specifies the id of the rule and this id is used to refer the rule in other parts of the vxml document and the main scope uh, what is the <coughs> It specifies the scope of that particular rule, which can be a uh, public or private. Uh, okay, so public rules can be referenced from other parts of the VXML document as well, and while private rules are only available within the scope of the grammar element. Inside the rule element, one or more item or other grammar elements can be included to define the possible inputs that the system will get recognized. Okay. So here, what we do, uh, we'll see about no match, no input. Once we see the example for uh, grammar and a rule. See, this is the grammar tag and the root we are defining. This is the main and rule. You see, this is the rule ID and the scope of that particular rule. That is a public. So which means other uh, VXML elements also we can include. And one of, you see one of item is no maybe these are the grammars when the user is speak to input okay now we are going to see about no input tag no input tag mainly uh, in the vxml uh, it is used to handle the situations where the user does not provide any input this can be used to play a prompt or message to the user to prompt them to speak or to take some other action in response to lack of input. Sometimes we don't uh, provide any input, right? That time uh, we consider it as a no input. So that time how the uh, the grammar has to act, the VXML code has to act based on the no input uh, tag. So this is the syntax for no input tag. That is no input and then count we need to give timeout also i mean uh, i mean we can't wait in a call for a long time right so that time what is the timeout then time limit has to be set and then prompt or other actions whatever if no input is received then what action it has to perform that action we need to give it here you see count specify the number of times that the uh, no input element should be executed before giving up and moving on to the next section of the vxml document the default value is three three times like um, please uh, enter your input please enter your input please enter your in input like that it will say the prompt and then uh, then what is the timeout timeout also they have to tell it in seconds the length of the time the system should wait for input before executing no element so no input element the default value is five so this is the no input syntax next we see about no match 
both the syntaxes we see first and then we'll go for the example in vxml the no match element is used to handle the situation where the user input provides input that does not match any of the expected input this can be used to play a prompt or message to the user asking them to repeat their input or to take some other action in response to the input not matching something like um, uh, we have to say uh, something like a uh, car model then that model is not matching we are saying something like digits 1 2 3 something like that uh, then uh, it will ask again and again so that time you see the no match the count a number of times you need to give and the other actions has to uh, has to take uh, which uh, no input matches so that we need to give uh, this is the syntax and see count specifies the number of times that the no match element should be executed before giving up and moving on to the next section of the vxml document the default value is 1 okay so now we see the example for no match and no input see inside the form block uh, the prompt see please say your name and the count we are specifying no input as 2 so 2 times it will ask like um, please say your name please say your name and then no input is detected please say your name that way it will uh, prompt first time and the second time sorry i did not understand we are not we are keeping silent we are not saying any input so that time sorry i did not understand please say your name it will ask okay if uh, the user still didn't uh, respond then it will go for the prompt hello okay this name then how can i assist you today sorry if the name user says the third time then it will it has to play this prompt this is the uh, main um, example for no input tag okay this is the uh, this way we have to give no input and then no match also similar but uh, it is different uh, i mean the keywords you see here uh, please say yes or no prompt it is playing and then grammar voice grammar we are taking here yes or no see here no match count two times we are giving first time if the if it is not matching i'm sorry i did not understand please say yes or no we are playing the prompt and second time also we are playing the same so it, it will play two times if uh, the user will uh, say in one time it is matching then if the, he says yes then you said yes okay that prompt you said this is the particular number this way we have to write the no match uh, element so i hope you understood uh, well about this uh, grammar rule and no input no match uh, elements in the vxml code if you do like this video please do like and share subscribe to my channel